Hello, gentlemen, and welcome back to yet another episode of Gentlemen's Club Whiskey. I am the pontiff of Japanese whiskey and your Tokyo godfather here, Mr. Mark Antimate. Make sure you guys get the book 50 Japanese Whiskeys Tasted in Japan, available now on Amazon.com. Today's episode, I'm going to be reviewing the Mezcal. If you guys want to know what Mezcal is, this is a indigenous yeah, indigenous drink that is uh, specific to Mexico. And uh, if you've ever drank in a tequila before, tequila, I guess you could consider uh, mezcal as well, even though many people don't know that. But then there's just mezcal that is its own thing that is not tequila. And that's what I have here. This brand is called Baro de Cobre. Mezcal is made from a plant called uh, megwe. Megwe is uh, a type of agave type plant that is, you know, planted inside the ground and dug up. And anyways, it's it's made from agave, from from a special type of plant. Made a lot different than how whiskey is made, and uh, this stuff is very strong, very potent. And in my opinion, kind of tastes very bad. <laughs> um, this will be the third time that I've ever had a a mezcal drink. I've had two in one sitting session at the Four Seasons Hotel at Otomachi, Tokyo. And I was able to endure it and finish both of my drinks that I had ordered. Especially since I was paying for them, I was going to finish them. But uh, it was a lot more bearable than I thought it would be. And it was kind of what I was expecting. It Very strong drink. It will put some hair on your chest. Uh, if, if you want to be a man amongst men and you're drinking amongst other men and you're trying to show off your masculinity, why don't you just go ahead and order this straight and you drink it in front of everybody else and... Uh, and show off your alphaness. But anyways, yeah, Baro di Cobre. This is uh, artisanal mezcal. And this comes inside of a 750 milliliter bottle. Yeah, 100% maguey. 43% alcohol by volume. Made in Mexico. All right. Has the address on the back. Ooh, man, I'm so scared about this one. I bought this out of um, Tanakaya, which is a liquor shop that is on the Yamanote Loop Line of Central Tokyo. And at this liquor shop, they only sell Western drinks, anything that is coming from the outside world that is not Japan. So I ended up buying this one there. And the whole reason I got into Mezcal is because I had the whole Mezcal community. Many people from Mexico talked to me on the Clubhouse app. And they built it up so much that I said, you know what? You guys are good. Uh, you've enlightened me. I'm willing to empty my cup and try your spirit you know, so so that I can communicate with you guys a lot better. And uh, I guess I'm getting ready to try it for the very first time. Another reason I bought this is not just because uh, the Mexicanos had talked me into it. But also I'm trying to have and try as many unique and diverse spirits as I possibly can to help develop my my palate a lot more than what it is right now i would say that i'm a master of whiskey especially japanese whiskey and then after that uh, i would say a master of scotch and then after that then it goes to the bourbon 
and then it goes to other drinks. But I I, I want to try the whole rainbow, the full spectrum of all spirits, so that I could be very well versed and talk to anybody about anything. So it's a requirement. If you never had mass cow before, you gotta have it, man. I'm not gonna pour that much, to be honest with you today. I'm just gonna pour a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Top is off. Actually doesn't smell as bad as I thought it would. Really smoky. That smells that smells like a like a scotch whiskey. Man, I'm at a loss of words right now. What do I want to say? Come on, you guys help me out. Throw some words at me. Peat it. Smells like peated scotch whiskey. That's exactly what it smells like. This smells like Octomore. Very, very, very spicy. If this tastes like an Octomore, bro, I'm going to be so happy. Clear? Yeah, I think, I think that's about as far as I'm going to go. All right, there we go. Just a little bit more. Not too much more than that, bro. That's... That's it right there. I believe I did find a uh, Instagram page for these guys. I would say go ahead and check that out. And if you see it somewhere near you, why don't you go ahead and support them? Get you get yourselves a bottle. Well, I guess you're going to wait until after this review to determine whether or not you're going to do that. All I can say, it smells, it smells exactly like peat. It's not peat. There is no peat in this, but, you know, it's it's agave, and the agave has been smoked. So it, it smells like, yeah, it does smell like smoke in that scent. All right, here we go, man. Better better now than never. All right, cheers, come by. Okay, guys, just waiting for you. Oh, all right, all right, after you, man. After you, all right. Here we go. All right, let's get let's get serious now. Ain't no more fooling around. <laughs> I'm so scared. All right. Hmm. Extremely smoked, extremely spicy. To me, this is this is not all mezcal. This is just specifically this brand. It tastes so much like a peated whiskey. It's this is really good. I made a good choice when I bought this one. I don't remember the exact price that I bought this for, but if I'm going off the top of head, because I bought this. Exactly about one year ago, I think the price that I paid for it was 7,000 something Japanese yen, like 7,200, 7,300. Let me try to find out how much that is in U.S. dollars because I know my American audience wants to know. How much is 7,000 Japanese yen in USD? All right, it says it's 61 bucks, so not too much more than that. I don't know if you consider that expensive for you and your part of the world, especially to my American uh, comrades out there, but for me, I would consider 60 bucks a very reasonable price for any type of spirit, especially something that's as unique and artisanal as this, or craft whiskey, or something that's very unique and individual like that's a good price to pay but man this was this was pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and finish this off it's like a it's like a clear whiskey mm. i applaud them that is good mezcal i'm gonna have to get on this Instagram page and leave a couple of thank you notes and share my pictures of this on the internet. 
man, I truly enjoyed that. And uh, I think you guys are going to as well if you like peated and smoked uh, scotch whiskey. Especially things like uh, Big Pete, Lagavulin, and especially things like Octomore. This is right up your alley, man. That is so amazing. One more time, the name of this one, Baro de Cobre. B-A-R-R-O-D-E-C-O-B-R-E. Man. Man, that is great. Good stuff, man. All right, I'm done with this review. Let's not stretch this thing out anymore. Gentlemen, salute to you wherever you may be out inside the world. Make sure that you guys drink responsibly. And as always, gentlemen, you guys know what to do. Keep it classy. I'm out. I need a shot of the good stuff. Someone call Aunt Tomate. Why did you go to the other guy's YouTube channel? Why didn't you come to mine first? We've known each other many years, but this is the first time you've come to me for counsel about drinks. I can't remember the last time you invited me to your house for a dram of whiskey. But let's be frank here. You never wanted my friendship. I understand. You found paradise on YouTube. You watched a few videos. You had a few laughs. So you didn't need to watch a channel like mine. Now you come and say, Don Antomati, give me knowledge about spirits. Give me a drink, but you don't ask with respect. You don't offer friendship. You don't even think to call me Godfather. You come into my house on the day that I am to open the good stuff and you ask for a shot. What have I ever done to make you treat me so disrespectfully? If you come to me in friendship, we'd be drinking together this very day. And if by some chance an honest man like yourself made enemies, then they would become my enemies. And then they would fear you. You want to be in my favor? I'm going to ask you to do a service for me. Hit the subscribe button. And accept this drink as a gift on my day of relaxation. <laughs>